Queen Elizabeth died this week after reigning 70 years as sovereign of the United Kingdom, beginning in 1952. Vincent Edward Scully died one month earlier in August. He broadcast sporting events for 67 years and from 1950 to 2016, he called baseball games for the Brooklyn and then the Los Angeles Dodgers. Both figures were known to millions of people during a long period of rapid social and political change. She was born to a royal family in London. He was born to working class parents in New York City. Both lived long, active lives, showing devotion to their families and drawing strength from their Christian faiths. Elizabeth lived according to a deep sense of duty and responsibility. Vin expressed himself through storytelling, a generosity of spirit, and nonpartisan respect for athletic excellence. Both public figures grew up speaking to and hearing stories from people born in the 19th century. They therefore connected us to the royals and baseball players of that century. Each individual inspired genuine public affection, although the Queen was a controversial figure. In many parts of the world, Elizabeth II represents British imperialism. What I will say now is this. Public figures of such constancy are rare. Millions of people in the UK and Commonwealth have known only one monarch. My mother listened to Vin Scully as a little girl in Los Angeles. I listened to Scully as a boy, and my daughters both heard the great Vin Scully call games before his retirement. The Queen connected people across the English-speaking world, just as Vincent Scully connected millions of sports fans in North America. When Vin Scully passed away, I felt gratitude for his long career. I was also reminded of how much we need positive, apolitical sources of connection in our time. Hey, this was a short impromptu video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.